In this one, I wanna show you how to search for gigs on Fiverr, all the different ways. So let's get the Fiverr app open. Really, there are two ways. The first is clicking on these square boxes in the top right-hand corner of the app. And when you open those, you're gonna get essentially a load of categories and interests. You can see the first options are categories here. So really you can narrow down what you're looking for. Also, you can search by interests as well. There are general interests. So for example, social media, and there's a lot of different types of gigs within social media. So you may be looking for an editor or a logo designer. You can go through all of these and really you just click on them and you can see some gigs within that top level category. If we come out of there and go back to categories and let's say I'm looking for a video editor or an animator, something within video editing. So video and animation would be sensible to choose. And then you can see it's right there. Video editing is right there. So I'm gonna click on that and just see what I'm getting. So right now you do get some gigs here and it's actually sorted by seller level. You can also switch to delivery time. So maybe if you're looking for a gig really quickly, then you can click on delivery time, 24 hours. And these are now the gigs that can deliver within 24 hours. That's definitely a good thing because obviously if you've got a short time scale, you're gonna need that. If delivery time isn't important for you, you can just re-click the time and it will deselect it. As you can see, the tick to the right-hand side of delivery time is now not there. So there's no delivery time in terms of the searches that I'm using. You can now flick through these, but again, they may not be very specific to exactly what you're looking for. So you can use these sliders in the top right-hand corner. If you click on those, you can really narrow down your search now. I can search by people that are online right now. So again, if you've got a short time scale, that may be important for you because you can look and also chat with people that are online. You can also rank the gigs by either recommended, which may be paid for, best selling, for example, or new arrivals. Then definitely important is the filters when it comes to the amount you're wanting to pay for. So you can put in an amount that you're willing to pay and that's going to narrow down your searches by quite a lot. You can just press done and any services included, maybe the seller level, you want some higher level sellers. So you're looking for at least a level two, for example, go back out of there. Then when all your searches are done and you've narrowed it down, just press apply and it will take you back through to the gig screen. All of these should be way more specific to what you're actually wanting. If you go into a couple of gigs, so you're searching and you quite like the look of it, but you're not really sure if it's right for you, then there's a couple of things you can do. If the seller is online, then you can definitely go through and chat with the seller. If they're online, they should reply quite quickly. If you go out of there again, what you can do is actually add that specific gig to your favorites. So you can actually compare gigs together in a much easier way after you've seen some that you like. Just press the heart in the top right hand corner and it will go through to your save list. Fiverr creates a list for you, as you can see, mobile, but you can also create a new list as well. So for example, video editing, because that's what I'm looking for. So I can create that list and now it's added to both of those lists. If you only want to add it to one list, you can press the ticks to the right hand side. It's not in the mobile list anymore, or I can add it back to it. Press done when you're finished. And that is in your save lists now. Moving down, it's definitely important to understand the options within a gig. So as you can see, this gig actually has a couple of different price options. So the $50 option is going to have less in it than the two and $500 options here. He has a tick by color grading, but if I go over the $200 option, he has color grading, sound design, and motion graphics as well. So it's important to understand that depending on the gig, there might be different price levels in terms of what they offer for that gig. Moving down as well, you can just go to frequently asked questions, also look at his reviews in terms of what other people have paid for and got. And definitely if you are thinking about a gig, the chat option, definitely just to see how professional they are and the type of services that they give you. Coming back out of there, if they are online, there should be a green dot to the side of their chat icon. This user isn't online, so the dot is actually gray, but any users online definitely will have a green dot beside their icon. Coming back out of the category searches, if we come back just to the main homepage, you can of course just type anything into the Fiverr search bar. 
and you'll really just go and search in mostly the same way. Underneath that, my recently viewed gigs are here, which is definitely helpful if you are looking around. You can also search by users so if you know someone on the system or you use someone before you can search for them there as well but let's go back to gigs and again i'll just type video editing in here press search and see what comes up you can again categorize all the gigs by seller level and delivery time at the top also some extra options so really you need to narrow down what you're looking for fiverr will give you some suggestions that they think so maybe you're looking for a photoshop editor or an editor for music videos intros and outros so let's click on intros and outros these are the gigs for that if you want to look specifically at your saved lists or favorites go to the account page so that is the bottom right hand corner then go through to saved and all of your saved gigs will be in here with all of your lists so remember i put that video editing gig into two different lists. You can just click on that list and that gig is right there in that list for me to look. If you added maybe five or six, you could compare them really easily. Anyway, that is searching for gigs on Fiverr. If it was helpful, please give the video a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.